Persistence, day two, Bernardo Castro. Bernardo Castro was an immigrant to the United States. He came to New York City with only a couple of dollars. He searched from store to store to find a job. Finally, he secured a job sweeping an upholstery shop. He could speak very little English, so he enrolled in a night school. It was a large school of more than 2,000 students. One cold December night, he set out to class. He had to walk five miles to class and a blizzard was raging. After going a block, the thought came to him, turn around, quit, go home. But he decided, I can do it. I'm going to keep going. I told those people I would be there. I'm going to do it. When he reached the school, the door was locked. The janitor came to the door, and Castro asked him, where is everybody? He said, they closed the school for the blizzard. You're the only one that came to school. He was the only one that persisted. He started home and he felt really angry at himself. And then with every step, he started a little different attitude. And he thought of more than 2,000 people, I'm the only one who had the inner drive to weather the storm. I have something great inside of me. I can go through any blizzard. Bernardo Castro would gradually go from sweeping the shop to being an apprentice, to an upholsterer, to owning the furniture store. He would eventually own a chain of furniture stores and was a millionaire. And when I heard him speak, he said, every one of you are going to have blizzards. I had blizzards. And every time I had a blizzard, I thought about walking through that snow in New York City. See, he did not quit. Because he didn't quit, what happened to his self-respect? It went through the roof. When his self-respect went to the roof, what happened to his expectations for himself? They went through the roof. You see, persistence is the absolute key to self-respect. Self-respect is the key to expectations. So it all works like a, a, the dominoes. They either fall one way or they fall the other. Persistence, high persistence, high self-respect, high expectations. Low persistence, a habit of quitting. Low self-respect, no expectations. You overcome the blizzards by doing what? You always keep your eye on the prize. Now, I, I love the Castro story, I always did, but it gained a significant meaning to me personally. We, we played a game against our arch rival and we hadn't beaten them in 15 years. So that's really not a rivalry. When you don't beat anybody for 15 years, I don't think that's a rivalry. And it was my first year at this school and I had a really good quarterback. And right at the end of the game, about two and a half minutes to go in the game, he throws an interception. It's the second game of the season. He's coming off the field towards me. We've probably lost the game. I don't want to yell at him too much because I still got eight more games to go with him and I don't want to build it, uh, kill his confidence. And when he got about five or six feet away from me, he 
He said, don't worry, coach. <laughs> it's just a blizzard. We'd use that Castro story that week. Well, we stopped them, called three timeouts and stopped them. They punted the ball to us. We went down and kicked the field goal and beat them for the first time in 15 years. Because of persistence, not really because of persistence, although that was what we did. We were persistent. But because our quarterback realized it was a blizzard and he could get through it, he kept his eye on the prize. He knew there was a blizzard, but he knew that he was going to get through it. And because of that, we all won. When you persist, don't quit. You become the best you that you can be.